Hello and welcome to Skill Techathon. This is SQL interview questions and answers series. Today we are going to look into few of the questions which are the most asked questions in any SQL interview. So these questions are finding the highest salary or finding the second highest salary, finding the nth highest salary using a subquery, then finding the nth highest salary using a CT, then finding second, third or 15th or 16th or 19th any salary. So these are the questions which will be asked if you are giving an SQL interview, if you, if you have already given an interview, these questions might have been asked. So if you practice well and master the skills to answer these queries, we will definitely crack the interview. So let's look into SQL how we can do it. So this is the input table we have been given. So now let's go to SQL and try it. Okay. I have already written the query to create the table and insert the values. Let me run this. Let me run this as well. Now let's check our table. Select uh, from employees. Now let me run this. Now we have a table. Let me drag it up a little. So we have a table with the IDs 1 to 8 first name, last name, gender, and salary. So there are eight rows and one, two, three, four, five columns. Now let us look into the questions one by one. Now the first question, right? We need to find the highest salary. This is very simple. We just need to use the max salary function. So select max of salary employees table let me copy this name it will be very much easier so now let me run this so we got the maximum salary which is 8000 sorry 80000 so this is very simple just use the max function inside the max function pass the column name you will get the max salary now we need to find the second highest salary so this is also very simple let's copy paste this Select maximum salary from employees. Now we are going to use a where clause. Where salary is less than. Now this whole query, right? Select max salary from employees. We are going to pass it. So now we want a maximum salary from employees where salary is Sorry, less, less than sell less than the select maximum salary from employees. So here we'll be getting an output 80,000, which is the max salary. So the salaries which are less than the 80,000, right? That will be the second highest salary. So from those values, we are finding the maximum salary from this query. So now let me run this. So the second highest salary is 75,000. I hope you understand how this query is working. First, we are selecting the maximum salary in where clause. Then we are selecting the salary which are less than the maximum salary under those salary bracket. We are finding the maximum salary which will be our second highest salary. Now, how to find the nth highest salary using a subquery? So I'm using PostgreSQL. So here the queries are written differently. So in MS SQL or MS SQL server, we can use top function. However, in PostgreSQL, you can use limit and offset. So let me show you how we can do it. Let us write the subquery first. Select distinct salary the employees table from the employees table so from employees table we are selecting distinct salary and we are ordering it by salary in descending order now if we run this 
we got salary in descending order with distinct salaries. So there are no duplicate values here. So this subquery will be beneficial for the cases where we don't need to find the find the duplicate values actually. Where, where we need to remove the duplicate values. Now, this whole query, we will pass it as a subquery. So what we are going to do is, from here, we'll select salary. So we'll put a bracket. So inside bracket, this will be our subquery. Okay, let me close this bracket. Now, we'll write order by salary in descending order limit one because we only want the first row and offset zero. Now if we run this, okay, here we didn't write profit. Now let's run this. Okay, we need to provide an alias to the subquery. Let me give alias of subquery. Now let's run this again. Okay, we got the highest salary. So how to find the nth highest salary using subquery, right? This is the highest salary. Now, if we want the second highest salary, we can write two in offset. Now, the second highest salary is 70,000. Third highest salary, let's put offset as three. We are getting 65,000. So I hope you understand how we are getting this. So offset will decide the rank. Limit will decide the how many rows you want. Suppose offset, right? Suppose we want the first rank limit to kill to three. Then we'll get three rows as the output and this offset one, right? 75,000 is the second highest salary because we are using offset as one. If we put it as zero, then if we run this, we'll got 80,000 as the highest salary. Then the second highest is 75,000, third is 70,000. If we just want the highest salary, just put limit as one and you'll get the highest salary. Or in the offset, put any number, Judeo is the highest one. One will be the second highest, two will be the third highest. So offset value you can change, you will get the whatever the value you want, right? In whichever position you want, you'll get that value, whether it is third, fourth or fifth. Okay, this is how we can do using subquery. Now we will be, trying to use CTE and check how we can find out the highest salary using CTE. So there are various functions, row number, then rank, then dense rank. The most suitable one is dense rank. So in row number, what happens, whether there is a duplicate or not, it will provide the row number one, two, three, four. In rank, if there is a duplicate value, suppose two values are duplicate. So first, second, second, third point it will lift and the fourth position will be assigned to the third highest salary. However, in dense rank, if there are duplicate values, the number will be repeated. Suppose one, two, two, then three will come for third highest salary. That's why I prefer using dense rank. So let's try using dense rank, select salary, comma, tense underscore rank function over. So now order by salary descending. And we'll give the alias name as dense rank from employees table. Let's run this. Okay. We got the rank, right? So first rank is 80,000 is getting the rank 1, 1 because these are duplicate values. 
75,000 to 3, then 65,000 is getting ranked 4, 4, 50,000, 5, 45,000, 6. Let me show you the rank function as well. Why we are using dense rank instead of rank, right? So let me create a table here as well. So let me copy this. Copy this. Comma. So it almost the same. So how here? Instead of dense rank, we just type rank over order by descending rank. Now let's run this. See in rank, 80,000 is twice, right? So one, one. After 80,000, 75,000 is there. So second position has been emitted. 75,000 is getting third as the rank. Then again, 70,000 is fourth, 65,000 is fifth. Then again, 65,000 is fifth. 50,000 50, is getting seventh as the rank. Sixth is omitted. That's why it's better to use dense rank because it's not omitted. Duplicate values are given the same rank. However, in the next process, the rank is not omitted. It's given as the second as the rank or third as the rank. Okay. Okay, let me remove this. We don't need this. What we'll do is this query, right? This will act as a subquery. We'll put this inside the city. With city as yes. now, all this will come under city. Now we are going to write a query. Select salary from city where. Now this dense rank, right? We gave it the alias for dense rank equal to n. So with this function, you are going to find out the any number of ranks. So you whether you want first, second, fifth, ninth rank, in place of n, just put the value, you'll get the rank. Now let me copy this. So the next question, right? How to find the second, third, or fifth highest salary? Let me copy this. Now instead of n, let me put second. Now let's run this. Okay, there is an error. Okay, we put a comma here actually. So this comma won't be there. Let me run this again. So this is the second highest salary. If we want the third, just put dense rank equal to third. We'll get the third salary. So this is the third highest salary. Suppose we want the fifth, right? Just put fifth and run this. We got the fifth. So here also we need to remove the comma. Okay, this is how we can use dense rank with CT function to get the any number of rank, any, any rank you want, right? You can get it. I hope these queries are clear to you. These are one of the few questions which are asked multiple times in SQL interview. And I will suggest that you master these queries so that you will be able to answer any type of questions which are asked in this pattern. Okay, thank you. We'll see you in the next video.